Hi guys, uh, welcome to the second tutorial of data structures and uh, in last tutorial we have seen what is a data structure and what are the types of data structures and what is an abstract data type what are the various types of abstra uh, abstract data types we are going to implement in this tutorial and uh, we have seen uh, list ADT, stack ADT and QADT and what are the implementations possible for all the three right now next tutorial that is this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to uh, see about array implementation of list ADT in linear data structures okay so the first implementation of the first ADT in the first type of data structures which we have seen so far okay and uh, array implementation of list ADT uh, what is array implementation means first we have to know what is the array so we have uh, years of experience of using uh, uh, several array concepts right uh, uh, array is nothing but a collection of uh, data with similar data types okay or similar elements right now <coughs> for example an integer array consists of a collection of integer elements right so if suppose we are having an array a of 10 where a indicates the name of the array and 10 indicates the size of the array suppose this is the array which we are going to use so we have 10 cells over here <coughs> and uh, in this cells we are in this 10 cells we are going to work it out how to insert an element how to delete an element how to insert in the middle and how to delete in the middle okay these are the things we are going to discuss in the array implementation of list ADT in linear data structure hope I am clear right you are not confused right right now let's perform a series of actions in this array implementation concept okay and uh, the first instruction is we are going to insert a value 5 okay and then we are going to insert few more values 15 25 and 35 okay what happens is first in an empty array when we are inserting an element it automatically inserts the first cell and following by the next element and next and next so far we have inserted few elements okay so this is insertion in between I mean insertion at the top and insertion at the end so we are inserting each and every element at the end of the list okay so keep in mind that it is not completely array we are implementing we are implementing the concept of array in list ADT okay what is a list it is a collection of series of nodes which contains values okay now suppose if we want to insert an element in between so so far we have seen the insertion at the ends so second concept is inserting the element in between how are we going to insert the element in between okay so for example if you want to insert the element 45 in the position 2 so position 2 we have to insert an element called 45 so but the problem is already the value the position 2 has consist of a value of 25 right and even the next position 35 is also occupied so what can we do so what can we do uh, to insert the new element is we have to free the memory in order to insert the value 45 okay now what we are going to do is we are going to free the last cell and move to the next cell for example we are going to move 35 to the next cell so 35 comes over here and it frees the cell 3 okay and then 25 we will be freeing the value 25 and moving on to the next cell okay hope it's clear and now we have the position to vacant for our new value okay and now we can insert the value 45 so this is how we insert a new value in an array implementation of list ADT in linear data structures okay now uh, suppose we are inserting a value in the first element what we should do if you are inserting a new value like uh, 3 in the first cell what we have to do we have to uh, we have to free each cell in order to add a new element so we have to shift the 35 to the next cell 25 to the next cell 45 to the next cell 15 to the next cell 5 to the next cell and then we have to insert the value 3 so it's a huge tedious process right so this is one of the major disadvantages of array implementation where it is too costly 
to insert an element or to delete an element okay so now we have seen the insertion in the build insertion in between and insertion at the end of a array implementation of list ADT using linear data structures right now the next process what we are going to do is we are going to delete an element uh, initially if we are deleting the last element there won't be any change so for example if you are going to delete the element 35 okay let's assume that this consists of 5 15 45 25 and 35 if you are going to delete the element 35 there won't be any change at all okay there is not going to be any change in the list okay but if suppose we are deleting any element which is in between like for example if you are deleting the element 15 then this position 1 gets free okay so what happens is the 45 get transfers to the previous cell in order to occupy that free cell and 25 moves on to the next cell previous cell in order to occupy that free cell okay so in this case deleting an element and uh, inserting an element in an array causes a multiple cost and a huge cost so where the efficiency lags behind okay so this is one of the major disadvantages of uh, array implementation and uh, like for example uh, in order, uh, rather than saying it as example there are several more functions available in this uh, array implementation so, uh, like for example uh, is empty to check whether the array is empty or not make empty function uh, makes the complete array empty right which erases all the values and uh, insert in the uh, insert in between delete insert delete find all these functions can be implemented in array implementation concept okay the only disadvantage is it's too costly to insert and delete where the efficiency lags behind okay so these are the overall view of array implementation concept using uh, list ADT in linear data structures okay so we will wind up this tutorial with this concept in next tutorial we will be seeing what is a linear data structure and I'm sorry uh, what is a linked list concept implementation and what are the types of linked list how we are going to implement those type of linked list in the next upcoming tutorials okay so hope you guys understand these concepts and uh, if you like this video please like subscribe and uh, motivate us to develop more concepts like this and uh, with all your support, it's Karthikeyan signing off. We'll meet you in the next tutorial.